What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This video we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of EDC from Nomad Goods. If you're not familiar with Nomad, check them out. Friend of the show for a long time. They did send these items to me to review and um, they haven't checked out this review at all so these are my own opinions and I'm bringing you some pretty quality gear to up your EDC, right? And this is all Nomad gear and they do specialize in not only chargers and stuff like that, but lifestyle gear such as this to up your EDC game. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the modern leather folio case. Now, this is for the iPhone 15 Pro. They do have some back models, and of course they're probably going to have this for the iPhone 16 soon. So we're going to take a look at this. This is the modern leather folio case. You can see the box iPhone, oh this is our iPhone 14 Pro Max so this is actually the iPhone 15 Pro fitting in the iPhone 14 Pro Max so this is a Horween leather case so very very nice you can see my iPhone 15 is in there very well and then a um, little leather right here, a little leather strap, magnetic boom, it's got that going on for it Looks very, very uh, professional, very stylish. Um, if you don't know about Horween tan or uh, Horween leather, it's very, very, um, you know, very, very rich, friendly to keep the natural hide, you know, the imperfections and stuff like that in the natural hide. So it'll patina over time and it'll look like nobody else's, right? It's going to be yours. It's going to patina and it's going to. Just take that that hide and just you know enhance the the flaws and stuff in it that just makes it look that much more rugged and rustic. It's a, it is vegetable tanned, and this is actually rustic brown on the color. And the patina over time will be pretty amazing. So all these leather goods you're going to see today, I believe, are all Horween leather. All right, they do have some other products that are just in like full grain leather, not Horween. So. Definitely when you're checking it out, look at the difference. There's the Horween leather items and then there's just the full grain leather items. I like to go with the Horween leather. I just like the look a lot, lot better. All right, so this case here actually is got a uh, polycarbonate frame. So you can see here and um, the protective microfiber interior. So that's kind of nice. They actually recommend a screen protector, which I have. Because if you put credit cards in here, you don't want the credit cards to scratch up the, the surface of your phone. So they do recommend a screen protector with this kind of a folio case. I would with any case that has something on the other side of your screen. Just because you don't want anything to scratch your screen. So have a screen protector in place. It has a grippy TPU bumper. So it's definitely grippy. It's not as grippy as it could be, but it is grippy. Uh, they have aluminum buttons. So these buttons here are aluminum. Okay, so they're not chintzy, they're not plastic, they're not anything like that. It is nice quality uh, goods. So, it is MagSafe compatible. If you're wondering, how, how MagSafe compatible is it? Yes, it is. It is MagSafe compatible. In fact, it has a pretty good magnet in it. It is 800 to 1100 uh, GFs. So, I can take this and hold this like this. Okay, which means you can MagSafe charge it. So you don't even have to take it out, it just MagSafe charges in the folio. So that's kind of cool. Most folios I've had before didn't support that. They were a pain in the ass. Now there were some that had a magnetic, you could take the phone out of the folio and then put it down. That was cool. Good worker in. But this, keep it in the folio as is and just charge it through the MagSafe. So that's, that's super nice. Again, this is a folio. So what, what do you have? You've got three card slots so you can comfortably fit three, right? Just like that. Then you've got a cash or document or receipt or whatever, little wallet in here that you can put items in. So it's a wallet and a phone case kind of all in one. So that's pretty cool. The protection on this guy too, with this kind of a TPU bumper and stuff like that, it's been tested and rated up to eight foot drop protection. So that's pretty darn nice. Uh, you can drop this up to eight feet with, with guaranteed protection on it, right? It also is a dual lanyard attachment point. So if you wanted to, attach a lanyard to this it does have that 
Um, some people like to have lanyards like down here or whatever to uh, keep them strapped on or on your wrist or or whatever but uh, if you're interested in that it does come with some dual lanyard uh, connectivity so a very very nice stylish folio bone case okay all right so let's keep along along the lines with the EDC and let's just say okay it's three cards I need more so that's where the card wallet can come in handy very minimal very minimal so again between these two, maybe you can just get by with this. You don't even need this, or maybe you need both, right? So you got some of it in here, so you don't need much of a footprint for a wallet. So let's go with a card wallet. And this one is also, this is their card wallet, rustic brown. See the uh, pattern here? This one is the Horween leather version. So again, they're, and again, they're proudly carbon neutral. Horween leather from the USA develops a rugged patina. So there you go. So this is the Horween leather version. You can get the full grain leather version if you wish. So this bad boy is going to basically hold, since we've got three in the other, right? This is going to hold eight cards. Three externals. So you can do three of them externally. Quick access. Boom. Right? Boom, boom, boom. So we can get three cards in here. Has a little slot over here. So it's a big, pretty good slot, you know, just an open slot. And then the in here for whatever you want to put in here. Cash, carry, maybe some coin. You can get coin in here, however you want to do it. So maybe ID over here, uh, debit, maybe a ID card or something over here. But just a beautiful all-around, uh, easy, minimal, full grain. Or This isn't full grain. This is the Halloween leather. And it's got a nice microfiber lining. Look at that. Just like the folio, this has a nice microfiber lining. So it matches. Very, very good. Got a little branding there. Nomad. Beautiful little card wallet. Say you're a traveler. Then let's move on to the Horween Leather Passport Wallet. And this is the pin edition. So you can get this in two different versions. So you can get it with a pin or without a pin. This one has a pin built into it. So... I had to go with the pin version. Here we go. Here it is. And again, this is for your passport. This is their vegetable tanned Orween leather um, storage for passport cards and travel documents. Right? It's got a magnetic pin tube, microfiber lining, and comes with a stainless steel pin. So, let's take a look at this bad boy. As you can see, we've got again the Orween leather. Very, very nice. It's got four card slots inside, right? One, two, three, four. You can comfortably fit four cards in this, this wallet. There's three larger slots, including the passport slot, which we have in here. I've put my passport in here. We've got a slot here and a slot here. Okay, so we have three internal slots. If you notice, in this slot, there's a little area for a couple different SIM card tools. If you're gonna be traveling, and this may be less now, right, than what it used to be, because now you've got digital SIM cards. But if you're traveling and you need to switch SIM cards, well, you know what? Your tools are right handy with all your travel documents in your passport wallet. So I have a nice little SIM tool in there. You can put any other travel documents you want in here. Microfiber lined, beautiful, right? Passport slot, filled. Got my passport in here. Pin slot. Right here, stainless steel pin. See? So we've got our stainless steel pin. Fits right in there. It's always handy. Does it fall out? No. It stays in there. It's magnetic. So that's, that's a gorgeous thing. Now, speaking of magnetic, something else. I think this is very, very nice. Say you have critical documents. Maybe it's a plane boarding pass or something like that that you just don't want to have any risk whatsoever of losing. There's this magnetic little area here, all right, that's going to guarantee, let's just say this is my boarding pass, I'll put it in here, and I'm going to close it, and now my critical document is locked in this magnet along with my travel documents and everything. 
So probably a bad example of a boarding pass because this is probably a little thicker than what a, or a wider than a boarding pass would be, but you get the picture, right? So great little travel companion here with the pin, uh, SIM card tools, your card, your, you know, your passport, your, all your important documents as you travel all in this little guy, right? And the pin's handy so you can take notes, sign things, whatever you got to do uh, when you're out and about. So those are three great leather, Horween leather options to up your EDC, especially if you're a traveler, all right? So now let's focus on just a couple other little items here um, that I would throw into your EDC. We mentioned this has a stainless steel pin. Why don't we up our game a little bit and go with a full-on titanium pen, okay? Maybe you want to document, maybe you want to write in a journal or whatever while you're traveling. Well, a titanium pen really ups your game, all right? This is a full titanium pen with a clicky. So, very, very habit-forming. Drive people around crazy by just clicking, right? Little branding says Nomad. It's the Schmidt P900 cartridge. It's This one says stainless steel and aluminum body click mechanism. This one happens to be a black one, like this comes with, right? This is full titanium. Full disclosure, they have the titanium. Different box. Little more information. This is grade two titanium. It's got a stone wash finish. It's PVD coated. So that means it's, it's coated against abrasion and corrosion and it also gives you a very smooth controlled writing experience just the way it is. It's also compatible with the following refills. The Schmidt 950, so this comes with the 900 but a refill of 950. The Otho Flash Dry and the Parker Style G2 would be refills for this bad boy. It's 32 grams, so it's perfect for a pen, right? So I highly recommend this quality writing instrument from Nomad. Speaking of titanium, let's take it up a notch. You have an Apple Watch, right? I got an Apple Watch. I got my sport band on because I worked out today and I, I wanted the sport band. But say you want to look stylish, up your game again with all the quality EDC you got here, Nomad's titanium band, which is basically good for Ultra, Ultra 2, going all the way back, I don't know, to SEs, Series 6, 7, 8, you name it. This is pretty compatible across the board with the Apple Watches. So you can see 44 millimeters, 45 millimeters, 49 millimeters Apple Watch. And it's it's a full on natural titanium with durable DLC coating, secure custom designed magnetic clasp and link resizing tool included. And again, works with Apple Watch Series 1 through 9, Ultra 1 and 2 and the SE. So very, very nice. So a little more information on this um, band is it's grade two again titanium with an advanced diamond-like carbon coating if you're wondering what the DLC stands for diamond-like carbon and the magnetic clasp is really really nice I really like this clasp simple and easy just right on in there and then we just push it to release right? beautiful design on the clasp kinda wish they all had that the tool it comes with is easy all right I'm no jeweler by any means, and I've been frustrated with past watch bands removing these little lugs, and these are stainless steel lugs, and removing links. It, it was maddening. This was easy. So I had no problems getting this size down to, to my size wrist. Okay? It is pretty much a, all, a one size fits all. So you're just going to have to Remove the links to basically get it to fit your wrist, right? So um, it says it fits wrists from 130 millimeters to 225 millimeters. So if you don't know the size of your wrist measure, they'd give it in millimeters, and it should fit. That's a pretty wide range of wrists. And I've got fairly small wrists, all right? I'm not, don't have huge wrists. So I'm kind of, I, I would say, on the smaller side when it comes to wrist size. I had to remove several links. In fact, I've got them in this box, right? So I open up my box. I've got my links. There's my extras. One, two, three, four. So I removed five, and there's your tool set, right? So don't throw away the box. Keep 
keep the spares. You got tool accessories, you got the little needle that goes in the tool, you got extras, and you got spare pins. They're basically called lugs, and they're stainless steel, and that is how you would keep your, your spares. Right? It's very, very lightweight. It's 0 0.15 pounds out of the box. You remove links, you make it lighter. It's easy, easy math, right? The width is 35 millimeter band. So, if you're wanting to know how wide this is, that's 35 millimeters. Some people like the wider bands. Like, you compare here, you can see my sport band is definitely wider. Probably like a 40 millimeter to this 37. Or 35, sorry. Probably like a 37 millimeter to this 35. It looks like it's about two or three millimeters wider. So, that's the specs on that. Very, very good Apple Watch band. High grade, very, very nice. Ups your style. You're rocking a titanium pin, a titanium Apple Watch band, Horween leather goods. You look stylish, you look classy, you look professional. You're ready to, to, to just seize the day. All right? The one last item I would say, throw into your EDC. I've used this so many times, and this is just a little Nomad C to C cable, but it sets you up to where you can charge anything. Say I want to charge something. Say I want to charge my AirPods, right? If I plug this inside in my phone, I can charge my AirPods from my phone. And just have this nice little magnetic clasp handy. You can put it on a keychain, however you want to do it. It's just nice to have a small little utility cable like this that you can basically use for anything that's C to C. So this is definitely in my EDC, um, and I have used it numerous times. Again, you use this into your iPhone, uh, you gotta have the USB-C, right? Because this is USB-C. I don't know if they do these in Lightning or not, but um, C to C, use your iPhone as your power. Like, right, if you have to have something that, that you wanna charge up from your iPhone, your iPhone's not critical, plenty of juice, charge from your iPhone, charge your AirPods. That's just a great example right there. Best one I can come up with. Anyway, this is all the EDC goods from Nomad that we wanted to cover in this video. I'll have links to all these items in the show notes. Feel free to check them out. And feel free to check out Nomad's site. Just go browse them because it's one of those sites where you go browsing and you find something you want. Because they just they have such cool stuff. And it's also very, very... It, it's not, not only cool, but functional and, and well-built. You know, they're a great brand, and I, I can't go on and on about them. And th this is only, they're, they're not paying me to say this. They did provide these to the show to review. But under no consequences, right? They just said, hey, you got review them, bring them to your viewers, and I'm only going to bring you guys stuff I like, right? So I'm not going to bring you this just because somebody said, hey, would you like to review these? I say no to a lot of things because I, I just, I don't want junk. So this here, I use and I highly recommend, and I'm bringing them to you guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.